Hi, this is Dr. Vivek Vherbal.n and I have lots of Indian gooseberries with me. Why I have these Indian gooseberries? You might have seen the thumbnail and you know that <laughs> there's no suspense. <laughs> so I'm going to make the oil from these Indian gooseberries also known as Amla. Amla, Amla, Indian gooseberries, whatever you want to say, say it. But this is one of the best fruit in the world it is the fruit that has five taste in it the only taste that this fruit doesn't have is salty taste that's why many times it's eaten with a little bit of salt if you haven't eaten this fruit then let me tell you that when you will eat this fruit it's gonna be very sore but after it when you will drink water your mouth will have that sweet taste. Yes, this is the magic of this fruit. This fruit is richest source of vitamin C among all the fruits in the world. Lots and lots of antioxidants this fruit has. So what we are going to do, we are going to make the oil out of it. Why not to buy the oil? Because I made a video a few months back and I exposed how these companies who sell Amla oil, who say that they have Amla in their oil, it's herbal oil, natural oil, they all use only chemicals, lots of chemicals and very less fruit they use in this. It's all like a marketing gimmick they use by saying that the oil is Amla oil. What happened is that company actually sued me. So that's why I have to remove that video from my channel. But what I can do, I can now teach you how to make the oil by yourself at home. So we are going to make it. It's going to be very easy and the oil is going to be very good for your hair. If you have dry hair, fizzy hair, hair are not growing well, they are broken, hair tips are not growing good. In all these problems, even if you have any of the problems with scalp, itchy scalp or you have dandruff, applying any of the problem with your scalp and this oil is gonna help you said a lot now how to make this very easy process let me show you but i will need a help and for help as you know from my old videos i always ask help from mr raj kumar singh so in this video also raj kumar singh is gonna help me in making this oil why i am asking his help because I'm going to make in big quantity. If you are making at home, just use small quantity and the process is very easy. You'll understand how to make it. But the oil that I'm going to make over here, the same oil I use in my practice for my patients also. But unfortunately, whatever oil I make, I use in my practice with my patients. I don't sell it. But other stuff, the good stuff that I sell, those are on my website, vherbal.in. The link of the website is below in the description box and in the comments also. So let's start the process. So the first step, is to cut the Indian gooseberry so here Mr. Rajkumar Singh has chopped all the Indian gooseberries the Amla all separated all credit goes to him I don't take credit of his hard work so now we have to grind this so that we can get a fine paste for this we'll put it in a grinder and we'll crush it but we'll not use the water to grind it instead of using the water we'll be using the oil which oil to be used it depends you can choose whichever oil suits your hair better but i will not recommend to use only coconut oil if you are using coconut oil mix it with some other oil why because coconut oil if only used later it's gonna freeze because it freezes very fast so it will be not so comfortable to apply on the scalp it will be better to mix with other good oils as almond oil yes it can be also applied on the hair you can use black sesame seed oil you can use mustard seed oil i prefer using mustard seed oil plus black sesame seed oil especially in the winters because mustard seed oil it has little bit of heating quality it gives heat to our body it's not so it's gonna burn it's gonna be very good for our scalp plus it will also help to keep the heat of our body so very good oil for the winters so 
so now we have tried to grind it without using any of the liquid so as you can see it's not grinding so well as we want it's still not fine grinded so for this what we will do is we are going to add oil into this so that with the help of oil as in liquid this all get messed up and will get a thin good paste for every 7 to 10 Indian gooseberry or amla, we should add at least one cup of oil. This you can divide like half cup of sesame seed oil and half cup of mustard oil or any of the oil according to your choice. So you can just divide the total amount. Over here I am cooking in big quantity so I'll be adding more oil over here but in general the rule is for for about 7 to 10 Indian gooseberries, amlas, you need one cup of oil. So, in my right hand, I have mustard oil. In my left hand, I have black sesame seed oil. So now we'll be adding little bit of oil as much as we need. Don't use lots of oil, otherwise it's all going to be liquid, messy. We don't want this, we want a good paste. For example, if you are using half cup of mustard oil, then use half cup of sesame seed oil also in total I'm talking about. Over here, we'll be adding a little bit of both the oils. So now, this is how our paste should look like. You can see it's all well meshed. You see, this is how it should be. This is the right consistency. And collect this in a separate bowl. Our Amla Indian gooseberry paste is ready. It looks like ice cream, but it's not ice cream. It's Amla paste. So the next step is we are going to fry this in oil. Why we will fry? As you can see, the water content in the Amla. This water content we don't want. We want water to be evaporated. We want only oil from this amla and if we will do proper heating only after that our oil is gonna be more pure oil and it is gonna last long so that's why heating is very important let's move to our second step that's heating so now we are on our new setup to heat our paste so this is our paste and now we are going to heat this to get the oil extract from this so now as we'll heat this we'll fry this the main thing is to keep the flame low we don't have to heat it on medium flame or high flame because it can burn the amla and we don't want it that's why whenever you are making an oil always keep the flame low and slowly slowly heat them so now as you can see the color of the paste is changing now it's turning a little bit brownish this is what we have to achieve slowly slowly keep on roasting it and you will see the color changing don't forget that you have to stir it also don't just wait for 20 30 minutes after every few minutes move this mixture a bit so that it doesn't burns from downside that's very important so keep on moving it after every few minutes so this is our final product as you can see it's not totally black and it's not green or the color that we started with it is perfect this is what we have to achieve you can see that the oil has been separated and now we will squeeze the oil from this all to get the maximum amla indian gooseberry oil i have kept our final product 
for an hour almost so that it cools down so now the temperature has been lowered now we will try to squeeze the oil from this final product and you will see that we are going to squeeze lots of oil from this this is amla that has soaked the oil and we are going to get the amla oil from this So now you can see this is totally dry. You see, it doesn't have oil. It's almost oil free. So we have to squeeze this to get the oil out of this amla powder, the roasted amla powder actually. So now our oil is ready and we will store it in an airtight glass container. This is very important to store in an airtight glass container. Keep this in mind. This is our Amla oil, Indian gooseberry oil ready. That's natural without any chemicals, easily can be stored up to three months. But I think if you will use it continuously, it is not going to last for three months. Make it fresh, use it, it's gonna help you. Why to buy if you can make it easily at home? So try it out, try to avoid the chemicals, live an organic and a healthy life, smile more, stay happy, stay healthy.